What's up, visionaries? It's Mel. And it's Greg. And MBG Visions is back today bringing y'all another video. Another one. Now, today's video we got for y'all, we have another Bruce stew. Yes. This one is called My First Job. <laughs> you remember your first job? Uh, I'm trying to think. Can I remember my first job? Actually, yes. I can remember my first job. And I remember like getting the first job and thinking like, oh man, you're going to make all this, this money. money. Yes. You're going to have all this freedom and do all of this. <sighs> Yeah, then when I looked down and I seen something that said tax, I said, yeah. who the hell is this guy? Yeah, and who is FICA? Yeah, who the hell is FICA? I don't <laughs> I know, know her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think my Medicaid, first job. Medicaid, who is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> my first job was at a KFC. It was That mm. was my very, 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 very first job that I ever worked. And I did do the hookup special for people. Lots of times. <laughs> the hookup special. If y'all don't know what that is, go ahead and let them know what that is. Like, you know, when you hook up your family members and your friends, you know, because it was my first job. I didn't know any better. <laughs> and they had a buffet there. I hated setting up the buffet. Yeah, mm. KFC had a buffet. It was mm. it was crazy. I just know I got some money. I'm telling you, my first paycheck was literally like, what, $110? It was yeah. something about around $110. So, but for me as a kid, I was I was pumped. $110 hey. more than I had. You it's know? yours, yeah. Hey, so this one right here is called My First Job. So before we get to the video, which I do one thing for me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Let's say. Make sure you leave a comment down, down below. Down there. Let's go ahead and get to the video. All right. Since it seems like I everyone does voice. a video on their first job, I might as well do one on mine. And that job was being a cook at my local pizza, pizza restaurant. I was a pizza making machine. I had my little hat, my little smock, pizza and my slut. little name tag that had the wrong name on it. Now, Xavier? I my yeah. that my oh, Javier. I said Xavier. <laughs>
line in literally two minutes before we close the door. I just cleaned the kitchen, my apron's off, Javier's ready to go home. All of a sudden, here comes Debbie. Hey, two people just walked in, they want to get a pizza. And my response to that was something along the lines of, yeah, well, those two people can eat my ass. How about that? <laughs> that was pretty typical. Debbie's probably heard me say that, I don't know, a million times. But what's oh, not God. typical is that the customers heard me say that from the kitchen. How dare he be rude as hell to us when we're trying to be rude as hell to him. So not only when we're trying to be rude pizza, as hell to him. Got it for free because I didn't want to get fired. <laughs> that uh, that was just a little joke. My ass isn't even on the menu. Yeah, but if you guys want to try something that does taste like ass, you should try our Dr. Pepper. You know why, right? Because <laughs> he put the olive juice in it. Okay. Okay. You can't tell me that this guy Bruce Stu isn't hilarious. I do not know why more people do not watch him. He is, first of all, his voice just will make you just laugh on the yeah, principle of just, just listening just by the to way his he's voice. Talking, it's like yeah. it just make you laugh, like the way he says it. And then the things he says, like he literally do not give two fucks. He don't care. Like say this dude right here, I can relate to him so much because I, let me tell you something. If I was at a job with him and me and him was working together, y'all be fine. Man, what? We had that thing running. Smooth. And you can't tell me that's not the worst. You 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 know it's almost closing time, and like he said, he said we close in exactly thirty seven seconds. seconds, and you decide to come in and order a pizza, and you, the size of a baby pool at that. You said the size of a, a baby, baby pool. swimming pool. But the funny thing is, in uh, you know this neighborhood, they don't play no games. They will shut the door if it closes at ten o'clock. They already got the doors cluttered. Nine forty nine. Yeah, I'm about to say forty seven. You beat me. <laughs> he, he said forty nine. I said forty seven because yeah, you get, ain't none of that happening. <laughs> you get Nathaniel Simpson. They better look. My ride parked in the parking lot already. <laughs> All we gotta do is count the money and get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Some jobs you think they really gonna stay there? Believe. And then like I said, you got the customers that ask for dumb stuff like. Can you put uh, uh, olives on three eighths of the pizza? What? Excuse me. Can somebody show me what the hell three eighths of a pizza is? And don't walk up in a place talking about do you still have vegan or gluten options? And you know what you walked up in? You walked up in a bar. No, we do not. You, you ain't you ain't in Calabasas. You ain't in Orange County. We have the regular gluten yeah. wings, the regular yeah. gluten nachos, yeah. the regular gluten shrimp, whatever. We it, it ain't it ain't gluten free. You have to go on over there in the motherfucking uh, what you call it? Uh, yeah, hey, get some get Pandora. Some, get some, but now what you call it? Panera. I always call it Pandora. Panera, Panera, bread. Panera, bread. Panera bread. Pandora bread. Yeah, you gonna have to go. Go to Pandora bread. Get you the salad. Get your sandwich. <laughs> yeah, they're like these, like some customers will ask you for stuff. You'll be like, "What?" Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Let us know in the comment section down below. Have y'all ever been through this? Like on your first job, can you yes. remember what it was? Can you remember how much you was getting paid? I think my first job, I was getting paid five dollars and eighty five cents an hour. Yeah, mine was around about five dollars and some change. Yeah. yeah. And I, I just knew that I was gonna be able to buy everything under the sun, and you know, yeah. But now I got one hundred eighty dollars, yeah. one hundred eighty dollars, and I was balling. I ain't even. Lying. I know that's right because you can buy lying. your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. So thank y'all for joining us for this video. Remember to like, subscribe, leave your comments down below, and see you next time. We out.